What is going on, guys? Hope you guys all had a great Thanksgiving. If you did, uh, if you do celebrate that, I'm back here with some more videos. I don't know when this is gonna go up, but it's after Thanksgiving for me. So, regardless, hope you guys are doing good. And we're back with some more uh, EX3 gameplay this time. D Brigade versus Dragon Lynx. Um, Dragon Lynx is the uh, kind of red, black, volcanic, metallic deck. They came out of EX3. Um, I, I don't know why it's called Dragon Links. I, I think it's from like the mobile game or something. If someone wants to explain that to me, I, I don't know if it's that deep of a meaning. But just anyways, let me know. It reminds me of Yu-Gi-Oh! Dragon Links. But regardless, uh, our opponent here is playing the Brigade. We're going to see a couple of really early swings already putting me down to, to uh, 3 security. And then, of course, um, I'm just going to try to build up my towers, my uh, big dragon stacks. I do have Hina early on, so that's really nice. I'm just going to get the plus one memory at the start of the turn, evolve a rookie, and then play the Jazzard Mon to get the on play uh, to ba basically be able to search. Uh, the thing about the deck is, though, it is really slow. As you can see here, I am getting rushed down. Um, and you do need to kind of commit a lot of memory. You need to set up your Hina first, and you need to have at least a champion on field before you can start like utilizing your on plays, because before you play Hina, you don't really get the ability to like evolve and on play at the same time. Here, I am going to be able to do that to digivolve uh, the Jazzard Rich Mon, and then devolve something, and then also you get to play a Hina from your hand for free afterwards. So nothing to devolve, but I am going to get another Hina for free. Uh, and then I do gain the memory from the Jazzermon there. So not actually going to pass turn. And then just to pass turn, uh, I am going to digivolve the Metallic Dramon for a cost of 4. Cause is going to put the opponent to 5. And since uh, there wasn't any Digimon deleted, uh, we do have the Floodgate effect that my opponent can't digivolve unsuspended Digimon. So we are going to uh, just play a Command Dramon and then just play another Command Dramon. Uh, after that, having 3 bodies on field, uh, I am going to go to 3 because of the double Hinas just basically getting that plus one memory every single turn is really, really broken. Uh, I'm going to swing into security. Checking two is going to be blocked by the Commandramon, Digivolving the Jazzardmon, uh, triggering the on-play effect to grab a Hina, uh, plus any of the other dragon searches out the Sky Dragon, Earth Dragon, Rock Dragon, whatever whatever dragons are in this line. Um, but this deck does live and die by Hina. Like, like you really need to see her early on and, and multiple in some cases too, uh, like that instance where I was able to Digivolve Lava Garita to trigger the second Hina's on play to kill something and then play a third Hina. So now, if my opponent does have that Command Dramon to feel the start of my turn, I'm going to go plus three memory. Of course, my Metallic is a blocker um, here. My opponent is going to be able to uh, swing and then discard, draw one, discard one with the Kazu effect. Uh, thinking if I want to block in the case of, of like a Dark Dramon uh, coming down, but he's 11k, so I'm not really uh, too worried about that. Uh, we are going to see new Seals Dramon in the back. Jamming is a really nice effect. Ultimate Flare also in the opponent's hand, really powerful removal card, um, but it'll only be able to kill one of my stacks here. Uh, we are just going to pass turn, putting me to three. No Digimon on field, so I won't get the plus. Uh, but I do have a big blocker with the reboot, of course, so I don't mind swinging into security. Um, I am also plus 1,000 from the Jazzermon effect. Uh, it's plus 1,000 during both turns. I think if it has an on-play effect, uh, so that's really nice, sitting at a 12k blocker uh, during my opponent's turn and then dodging that uh, Dark Dramon in security. Gonna go Metallic Dramon number two, triggering the on-play, another Floodgate effect, uh, which I don't think is extremely, extremely relevant against the Brigade. Most of the time they're playing their stuff. Um, and even in the case of like a tank Dramon, usually like in this instance, he could swing seals first um, and then evolve tank Dramon. But of course, being a blocker kind of prevents my opponent from doing that. So really one of his only choices here is going to go ultimate flare, uh, deleting my uh, metallic stack, devolving at three, and then uh, deleting uh, the solar Mon uh, as well. Um, I actually do want to point out that that could have been a misplay. I, I didn't actually check which rookie was under there. So if it was the Jazzard Mon, Jazzard, uh, Jazzard Mon is a four play cost, I do believe. Uh, so wouldn't have actually deleted that one. Um, but regardless, is going to delete the solar Mon, and then we're just going to evolve the Lava Grita, or the Vorvomon, the guy is going to become Lava Grita eventually, in the back, draw two off the Fireball, hitting a Iron Fisted Onslaught in security, super unfortunate, 
uh, but we are putting our opponent to one security. Lots of memory to work with as well. If we can uh, dig for a Volcanic Dramon, that could definitely uh, close out the game. Volcanic Dramon is a really sneaky on attack effect where you basically just get to trash a the top card of your security um, if your opponent, uh, or if you do have a tamer here, I was thinking to just hard drop the Volcanic, um, because I wanted to prevent my opponent from, like, playing more Command Dramons or something, um, because there's, like, an inherited, I think it's the Tank Dramon inherited that, like, gives Rush to Command Dramons or something, uh, but I'm just gonna go for the way safer play, just Digivolving in the back, um, possibly playing a tie or something to guarantee myself three memory, um, that's gonna be it, yeah, so we are going to put ourselves to three, uh, Kazu, are, are putting our opponent to, uh, four, I believe, and then, uh, five with the Kazu swinging, security, jamming, of course, and they're gonna Digivolve into Tank Dramon, uh, possibly for an evolved cost of three, uh, he is actually going to trigger the Kazu first to, to draw the, uh, one card and discard, uh, Seals Dramon there. And then we're going to see Tank Dramon evolve for 3, uh, going into 2, revealing, I believe it reveals top 3, and then playing a Command Dramon, trashing Double Death X off that, which is actually fine against this matchup, you really don't uh, see that all. Command Dramon number 1 is going to come down, float into another Command Dramon, blocker Command Dramon. Uh, opponent is going to try to swing for a game here, a little bit too high off the Copium. Doesn't actually uh, have rush because the Tank Dramon inherited is only uh, hard once per turn, well, once per copy basically, once per turn on that Tank Dramon, so not going to be able to do that. Also, Kazu is suspended, so not going to be able to use the Grumblemon uh, in the hand there. Super unfortunate, just short of being able to go for game, our opponent, um, and there's not really much you can do to play around a Volcanic hitting the board. Uh, he could put up another Command Dramon possibly, but uh, Volcanic Dramon's deletion is a spread effect, so it would delete uh, both of the Command Dramons actually. He does have the Dark Dramon in security, uh, but sitting at two memories, not going to be able to uh, be enough. Digivolving a Grumblemon, uh, just to draw a card, but of course the Command Dramon was played this turn, so it does not have Rush. Won't be able to swing there, and at this point, he's just digging and trying to do something, possibly getting a blocker Command Dramon off of that. Uh, but we're just going to whiff and then pass turn. I'm just going to Digivolve uh, into the Volcanic, uh, blow up both of my opponent's Digimon via the on play, and then swing trash the top card of security, and then uh, hitting my opponent for a game. So that's going to be game number one, guys. Game number two, Command Dramon is going to go first. Breeding area over the egg is going to be the Command Dramon plus Seals Dramon for a cost of two. I'm going to go ahead and just hatch the Guri, but then play the uh, Lavorvomon, whatever his name is, the level four guy, uh, and then revealing the Metallic to get off of that, adding it to hand. Really nice thing about having like um, level four searches is you're basically, once you got your Hina off of that, once you got like a level five or six off that, you can just go ahead, Digivolve next turn, and then straight into a level six, uh, pretty much. We're just going to play Hina to pass the turn, putting our opponent uh, to three. He's going to start with three anyways because of the Izzy. We're just going to see Tank Tramon Digivolve, revealing the top three. Whiffing, once again, a little bit unfortunate, uh, does uh, trash the rest of the cards. Um, could definitely swing at uh, 7k body, I believe. Uh, so he's going to go ahead and swing. Dies to the Dorbic Mon in the security there. A little bit unfortunate. And then we're just going to play the Pride Memory Boost uh, for a cost of 4, revealing the Command Dramon. Uh, getting rid of the rest of the cards. Um, and then I'm going to start with 5 because of the Hina. Really strong stuff. Tons of memory to work with here. Uh, so we could definitely Digivolve into the Lava Garitamon, but um, of course the Command Dramon does float. So that effect is a little bit unfortunate. I'm just going to do it anyways. Uh, possibly a heal whiff, but, um, or I could just not trigger the on play effect. Instead, I'm going to go ahead and Digivolve into the Metallic and then trigger the on play, deleting um, the Command Dramon. And then, of course, he is going to be able to uh, play the Blocker. So no floodgate effect this turn, but we do have blocker um, and reboot. I do believe since he's got since we got a Hina in field uh, on the field there. So reboot blocker and can also pop stuff every single turn um, because of the fact that we've got the inherited effects. Um, we're just gonna see Iron Fist the onslaught hitting for a, a cost of eight, putting me to six since we've got the Hina on field, so a little bit unfortunate, but you can tell that Hina is putting in work, so getting lots of memory to work with. Gonna grab probably just a Metallic Dramon. Number two seems to be really, really good against the D-Brigade, so I'm just going to um, go ahead and take that, uh, and then triggering the on play of the um, Lava Garitamon, and then uh, drawing the, uh, or playing the Hina off of that is really, really nice. Anytime I've got multiple Hinas, it's really, 
you know, bad for my opponent because as soon as he plays a single Digimon, I'm going to be left with a lot of memory. But of course, we are going to Death X, putting me to eight. Uh, pretty ballsy there. I'm just going to hard slam the Volcanic Tremont to uh, kill my opponent's Death X. A little bit of back and forth here. Um, it's a rogue matchup, so I'm not really too concerned about it. It's like, it's it's whatever. We're just having really good uh, games here, and we're going to be met with an Iron Fisted Onslaught, taking out the Volcanic Tremont. Definitely didn't want to risk losing security to my Volcanic. Uh, we're just going to play the Jazzardmon for a cost of four, revealing the Jazzardrichmon, which is uh, really, really strong. I think that's probably my favorite level five or probably one of the favorite cards in the game it's just in, in the deck at least it's really really strong being able to uh, have the security attack plus one inherited uh, and then of course being able to devolve stuff's really good playing a hina is always broken so i've got triple hina on field is really really nice we are going to see um, the Dark Dramon hit the board, recycling back uh, five of the D-Brigade cards to get memory plus two for each card, essentially playing him for the cost of three, uh, and then being able to have the rush keyword means he can swing right away, but I'm not really worried about Dark Dramon, like he's cool as a finisher, but when he's played mid-game, um, okay, he gets one swing in, and then he's an 11,000 vanilla. Um, this deck has a lot of removal, and plus I'm at six memory, so we can definitely do a lot with that. We are going to go ahead. Did you evolve into the Volcanic Dramon? Uh, drawing the card and then triggering the Hina. Definitely have to suspend one of the Hinas uh, to utilize that on play effect. Just keep that in mind. And then going to swing into security, trashing one, and hitting the Death X. Super unfortunate stuff there, uh, dying. But that's okay because we're still uh, left with a decent amount of memory and our opponent's got uh, two security. We're going to go Jazzermon, triggering uh, the on play once again to grab any of the dragons plus a Hina. And if we've got the level five, we can just play it out right away. So a really cool strategy. We're going to go for the plus two here um, and then probably just evolve like a Lava Greta or a Jazz Richmon if we've got it, hopefully. There we go, Jazz Rich. Not, nothing to uh, devolve, but of course we are going to play the fourth copy uh, of Hina. And then just keep in mind, there should that third Hina uh, in the middle there should be uh, suspended because we did miss that with the Volcanic. Um, but we're able to set up pretty nicely for the following turn, especially if we've got something like a um, Volcanic or a Metallic to be able to potentially threaten our opponent. Command Dramon in the back here, and our opponent is going to start with uh, the Dark Dramon once again to be able to play for uh, basically three. Uh, the cool thing about D-Brigade is the fact that once you've got two Dark Dramons in circulation, you can effectively just loop them. Uh, back and forth and one adds the other and then just play and recycle and then we're going to swing and then play the command Dramon. not playing around the plus four memory from the hina is really crazy putting me to seven and that is just the perfect sweet spot amount of memory i needed guys because I'm going to do some crazy stuff this turn, all right? So we got the Jazz Richmon, of course, is going to Digivolve into Volcanic, triggering the on play for a cost of four, deleting the Commandermon, which unfortunately does float into the blocker. That was a really bad scenario, but it's okay. We still got this, all right? So we can then do a couple of things. We could definitely swing um, and then trash one security um, and then check the last one. We, we are instead going to just play the Dorbikmon, Crossing five of our dragons with different names for a reduced cost of 13 minus two for each. So three cost, deleting something with 13k or lower, deleting the command Dramon, checking one security, and then swinging, uh, trashing the last one, and swinging for game with the Volcanic. Also had a Ragnarok play in my hand, so I was thinking about doing the Metallic anyways. That would have been pretty spicy as well. But anyways, guys, that's going to do it for this one. Uh, if you enjoyed the games, let me know down in the comment section below. But thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.